Sean Murphy through to a seventh UK quarterfinal. And Sean, up against an opponent who's a three-time ranking event winner, that was a pretty comprehensive victory over Ricky. Yeah, I think the match was a bit closer than the scoreline suggests. I sort of picked up a few of his crumbs and he had a couple of chances to hit me on the counterpunch and didn't. And, you know, those matches, those frames can be quite pivotal in matches of that length. Um, I was looking forward to the match. You know, we play a similar game as each other. And, uh, and on another day... The score could have been different. You're a big student uh, of the game and you've been in it for a long time now. It's incredible, really, to think that you and Ronnie are the only top 16 players still in the draw. Even though the standard is getting higher across the board, are you surprised that, that you are the only two top 16 still in this championship? Absolutely not. I, I think we, we predicted it as players on the tour when the flat 1 to 8 system came about, when the, the top 16, 32 were no longer protected through the seeding positions. And I think it's now filtered through where these you know, new players on the tour, the lower ranked player, they're not worried about mixing it now with the top 16. They mix it every week with us around the world in every event we go to. Uh, they're not intimidated in the, in the presence of the top 16 players anymore. They'll share the practice room, they'll kick you off a table. They're, they're hunting and loitering around for you to make a mistake. The game's changed. And it's now, you know, the, hun the hunters have become the hunted. And uh, it's really difficult. Well, we might have been expecting you to face uh, John Higgins, but it's, uh, it's Mark King. Now, I know he's been around, well, since God was a boy, but a fantastic win for him. You've got a very strong record against him head-to-head, -head, but, you know, he's a different animal these days to mm. what he was a couple of seasons ago. I think John Higgins had a good record against him head-to-head -head as well. Um, that counted for nothing. So, you, you know, I won't be uh, counting my chickens or whatever the phrase is Mark since winning that Northern Irish Open last season he's a change man uh, he's been working with my coach Chris on a lot of off the table work and the difference between Mark now is he now knows he can win and that's different from believing you can do it and hoping you can do it and having potential he now knows how to win ranking events that makes him a completely different player and somebody not to be underestimated in terms of how your season has gone a couple of big finals and then a, maybe a turning point when you won the Champion of Champions, especially the fact that you beat Ronnie in that final. Was that, was that a, a key turning point in your season, do you think? Yeah, well, the Champion of Champions is, is now sort of getting the reputation as maybe one of our unofficial majors, um, you know, with the three BBC crown events being the, the, the big ones. And then there's a few other that are vying for that spot. So to win it, um, which only has winners in it, and to beat Ronnie over distance, which I'd never done before, was a, was a big step for me and that's given me a lot of confidence. Um, I think I'm having the best season I've ever had of my life. You know, I've had three finals, one victory and uh, playing well here. So I'm enjoying my game. And what's, just finally then, what do you think the reason is for that? Because you've had decent seasons in the past, but what's, what's clicking at the moment that maybe hasn't in recent years? Do you know, I think, I think snooker now is, is, is you just have to be as well prepared as you possibly can, give the best you can and hope that the stars are aligned for you on any given day. I don't think there is a secret. I think you have to hope that your good performances coincide with your play opponents making mistakes and try and be a little bit sharper than everyone on the day. But, you know, that can count for nothing. You can get pumped 6-0 on the next day and it, you're off back down the motorway. So you've just got to enjoy the good times while they're here and uh, get back on the table when they don't work. Well, well done today. We're certainly looking forward to that quarter-final against Mark King. Thanks, Sean. Thanks very much. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.